hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther Murphy. so in today's video is very exciting video why because i want to show you how to start forex trading if you're in kenya and if you're not in kenya still this video is very helpful so without waiting <laughs> without wasting any time let's get into the video when I was starting Forex trading, I really looked for videos like these. Um, I really wanted to know how to start Forex trading, more so in Kenya, and I didn't find any video that was helpful. I didn't find any information here on YouTube. And I decided if I, um, I start Forex trading, I understand I'll be helping people who want the same information that I could not get. That's the purpose of this video. That's why I'm doing this video to help you if you're starting, more so if you're in Africa, you're in Kenya, you don't know where to look, you don't know who to trust, you don't know what information is true. I'm here to help you uh, to get you started. So I started Forex trading about five months ago and I wish somebody did like this video and told me steps uh step by step on how to get started more so if you're in africa you're in kenya so guys let's get started okay <laughs> so guys the first thing to check when you want to start uh forex trading you need to check your why what is com what compels you to do forex because forex is not um it's not something that you can just get in and come out and think you make um something out of it you really to know you really need to know your high you really need to know your why i wish someone told me why are you doing forex why are you doing this forex why have you decided to uh to do forex and then if someone told me i would have really thought about it and if um my answers were not like uh supporting my why i would not have started but when I joined Forex, when I started doing Forex, I was so naive. Let me put it, I was so naive. I thought uh, Forex trading has a lot of money. I'll come in, make profits and come out. My friend, you really need to know your why. Why do you want to do Forex trading? Why do you want to come into this, um, into this like space? Why? just know your why then write down your why because in forex trading there's so much there's so much uh you will lose money you will get discouraged you will do all these things but at the end of it it is worth it so if your why is not strong if you just if you're doing if you're if you're doing forex trading because of your friend because of influence because you're seeing people are making money online that why is not it has no strength but if you're doing forex because maybe you want to try something else maybe you want to challenge yourself maybe you want you are tired of uh, living your life maybe you don't have money maybe you don't have a job you, you have this free time and you can do something that why is strong but if your why is because uh everyone is doing forex check your why okay <laughs> so now you know you are why the next step to take is to find a broker i remember when i was starting forex trading i didn't know the purpose of a, uh, a broker and uh, I, I really struggled to understand why can't i go trade for myself like but yeah if you if you're new to forex you really need to to find a good broker you need to find a broker who is regulated and you need to find a broker who maybe let's say you start you want to start um forex trading you want you have you you want to start maybe with a hundred dollars or ten dollars there are brokers that their minimum amount is a hundred dollars so if you want to start with minimum amount like ten dollars the broker will 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 determine like you you how, how can i put it like the amount that you want to start with will affect the broker that will you will pick some broker even accept from a thousand dollars and above so first of all the the most important thing is to find a regulated broker and then to find if you want to start with a minimum amount i can suggest a broker maybe you want to start with ten dollars maybe you don't want to invest a lot of money you can start with ten dollars so look for a broker who can accept ten dollars for like a deposit maybe you want to start with a hundred dollars you can look for a broker who is accepting a hundred deposits if you're in kenya or if you're in africa kindly uh try to check a broker uh on the method of uh, depositing the payment method and the withdrawal method if you're in kenya i will really suggest that you your broker 
uh, should have accepted or should uh, your broker has um M-Pesa payment method. If you're in Kenya, you know M-Pesa payment method. So the broker I'm using right now has an M-Pesa. So I can just go to my phone. I can just like say I want to deposit five thousand. That's fifty dollars. And then when I trade, I get maybe I double my account. I can still withdraw. Uh, the money using M-Pesa. So the broker here, uh, you really need to find a broker that first of all is regulated. Uh, we don't want to be scammed. You know, there are so many scams. <laughs> you don't want to get scammed. And then the second thing, you want to find a broker who meets your, uh, your minimum amount deposit. If you want $10 deposit, look for that broker. And then the last thing is the deposit. There are brokers when i was starting i didn't know this information so the broker that i used i used to deposit using bitcoin so if you are in kenya and you're using kenya shillings now to transfer uh to transfer kenya shillings to bitcoin i used to spend a lot of money then to bitcoins then i deposit it comes to dollars it was a lot of hassles so guys you can find a broker that just with mpesa you can uh, deposit your account and you can withdraw using M-Pesa. I hope that is clear. So you need a broker that meets those three criteria. Remember to be regulated. The minimum amount can be even from ten dollars because remember this is a new and it's a new territory that you're trying to step in. So you don't need to to spend a lot of money uh, opening your account. And then the last one, uh, deposit and withdraw should be something that is uh, favorable, something that you'll not struggle. You'll not need to buy bitcoins deposit all those stuff yeah so you need a broker with all those three things okay so the third thing after now you have known your why you have known your broker is to know forex terminology imagine um you you want to trade forex and you don't know the terminologies of forex trading you will get stranded you will find that there's so much to learn before even you decide to open a live account or go to start trading make sure you know forex terminologies know what is a pair currency know what is a pip know what is a margin we know what is leverage all these are forex terminologies and they will really help you when you start trading you can even take two days to just learn forex terminologies do uh, get familiar with how what is the most uh which are the most traded pairs and uh which are how are the pips calculated what are the margin what is lot size these are the things that you should know even before you start trading kindly kindly take take it serious take it serious guys uh take time and know forex uh, terminology it's like um when you go to hospital there's the terminology where the doctors and the nurse uses and maybe if you're um a patient you'll not even understand and if you try to come and trade forex trading without knowing the terminologies it will really affect you because even maybe you don't know how to place a trade you don't know how what is bid you don't know what is ask you don't know what is long when we say bullish you don't know and then you want to trade kindly 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 <laughs> kindly take like two days say i want to take two days and no forex terminology so that this is where you start learning forex don't go uh trying to learn to to learn so much things on youtube just focus on one thing forex terminologies they are like 50 of them but 10 are the most important know what is a currency pair then after that you can go to the next step so guys uh if you want to start forex trading today you can even start with forex terminology be uh be familiar with what is forex and what are the terminologies when forex is concerned so guys that's number three that you need to do now when you know forex terminologies it's most uh it's very easy now to get started uh understanding what is forex and i would suggest guys you take two weeks to really get into details about forex trading if you go direct about uh, everything forex has to offer you will get confused or you will feel like you don't want to 
you don't want to to learn anymore so when you when you when you study forex terminology at least it enlightens you and it is more fun to start training your brain to get this information remember you are trying to fix your brain to understand this new information and um, now take two weeks of learning and it's very interesting because um when you start learning forex trading you want to learn your mind wants to learn don't like don't be like because you have known forex terminologies now you want to open account you start trading no take your time take your time and i will guide you because when i was starting when i started learning forex trading i didn't have guidance i didn't have guidance i would learn this learn this and i thought i was like doing from from 10 then come to one then go to five. it's like i was going from one place to another i didn't have like a way of learning forex trading and i will give you three things that you should pay more attention okay you should uh the first thing that you need to learn about forex trading in these two weeks you should uh start learning about uh price action price action is how it, how are the markets and how is the price how are the price reacting and the price action is where we see uh, everything about the market what is the market structure how is it forming we, you will find out about support resistance you'll find out about how the the candle patterns uh, look like you will understand if it's a bullish market this is an uptrend uh, if it's a bearish market this is a downtrend you will be able to understand all these things and then in those two weeks make sure you learn all these things and then um, uh, try to even Google, try to look on YouTube on those people who are giving information and don't try to trade. Just you, you, you're feeding your mind with new information every day. Feed your mind. Make sure like you take two hours of learning. Today you can say, let me just learn about support and resistance. And then tomorrow you can say, I want to understand what is trend line. Then the following day you can say, now I want to understand um how do i read candlestick what are the types of candlestick pattern and then before the two weeks two weeks end you know so much but don't like one hour you read everything you will get confused so guys take time take two weeks of learning and don't say like oh the courses are uh, people sell their courses no they have so much free information i learned through youtube i never paid anything to to, to to learn i just went on youtube and i downloaded some information and some videos some i was watching live and they re they really helped me so if you want to start learning forex you need to go for like forex for beginners just type forex for beginners and then you will start getting familiar with something okay now two weeks are done you have learned about you have learned forex trading you have information the next thing now it's open a demo account remember if you try to open demo account and you have not even learned forex you you you're going so fast and uh, forex trading needs you to take time so you can open a demo account you have finished your two weeks you you, you studied terminologies you have now studied uh in these two weeks you, you know what is a trend uh how does a, an uptrend look like how does a downtrend look like you have known how to place a trade you have known how to you have known all these things now open a demo account and a demo account is very easy i have a video i'll just link somewhere here how to open a demo account if now you have a demo account whatever you have been learning try to implement you know with a demo account it's like you're being given a chance to exercise what you have learned a demo account is not just uh you just do your things then you think when you have a, a live account you'll do different no a demo account you should really implement what you have learned and you should be very serious with it remember it's just virtual money but everything else is real so if you have opened your demo account and you are satisfied i would suggest you use your demo account for like one week put take profit put stop loss try to see if your trades are going well try to see if they are hitting the take profit try to see if you are losing on the trades 
try to see how many trades am I doing a week on uh, on five days how many trades did I do how many did I lose all this try to have like a data <laughs> try to have a data then after now the one week is over you can now open a live account <laughs> you can now open a live account and opening a live account is very easy <clears throat> you'll just the same broker that you're using for demo account, you just upgrade to a live account. So you open a live account and then you deposit your money and you start trading. So guys, that's how you start Forex trading. If you're in Africa, if you're in Kenya, if you're in anywhere in the world. So I just felt I want to share this information with you. So if you've been out there, you really wanted to know how do I start? How do <coughs> How do I get started with Forex trading and you didn't know where to start? Follow these six things and I'll guarantee you, you will start Forex trading. I know this is a journey, a journey that has apps, it has down, but I think apps are the best because if you master Forex trading, it's very good and it's very nice and it's a very, very valuable achievement in someone's life. I feel I have achieved a lot just because I'm now trading Forex. So thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly consider subscribing. I have so many videos that I'll be sharing with you. So give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if this video was helpful. Let me know if you have started trading. Let me know if you want to start trading. Let me just know. And if it has helped you, share it with your friends. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next